Thursday, and then next week will probably be our last week. Uh, this Sunday, the law. Are you available for the? What time? Uh, so we it's still, it'll be nine to eleven usually. I mean, yeah. Um... If I'm not doing a tournament, then I can I can probably do it. Okay. Wait, is also, it is should... it strat talk or is it? It's the aircrafting. This, okay, yeah, then yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm gonna try I mean, to go over I'm... with this stuff with the with um what's his face right now, um, and just make sure <laughs> we're not. Sorry, I don't I don't I'm tabbed out. I don't see names. Um, Zach. Zach. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to go over and make sure we're not doing some really weird things, <laughs> and try I, to I, I trust him. make sure. Well, I I don't know. I don't know anything yeah, here, yeah, so yeah, I just no, want to make sure that too. we're not building bad habits. Uh, Zach, what were you gonna say? Zach. Uh -oh. Um. I mean, I was, I was just gonna say if uh, I will go over the stuff with the wall, wall and stuff, uh, make sure everything is clear. Um, okay. I was hoping I could run it. I mean, I have all the notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you and the stuff yeah. weeks. You, you and you're, you're good. You and the law will. You'll you'll talk it over and just get some stuff down, and then we will. Yeah. So okay, I'll see you guys Thursday, and I'll post something before on Thursday. Summer summer is going to be on a need no basis right now. This is. I'll be right the back. The scrim is over. These are all the information. Minutes. Actually, one, yeah, yeah we'll, I'll be back in one minute. Hey, uh, you want to put some strat knowledge to the test right now? Elijah, Pepe hands. Why? Oh um, I'm about to go over some strats with a 3.5k team. Um, and if you want to join in, that would be cool. Um, I uh, tell Tyler those bots upload coming. Okay. Um. I mean, I, I don't know how long this is gonna be. Like, there, he's. He, I just want. I'm just going over with him, just making sure that he's not gonna be building bad habits for his team right now. And if you wanted to join, that's cool. So were you uh, so uh, at least you judging or... somebody else judging something? What? Oh, I didn't hear what I, you said. I I, you're you're judging somebody else making strats. I'm just going over what he has and making sure he's not telling them to go bunker on, like. Some dumb map. <laughs> I mean, I can listen in. I don't know if I. I, I don't know if I would. Well, I you can if you want. Anything, uh, at me if you do. Okay. Are you in the Towson? To Towson? Yeah, I'm in the Towson. Are you in there? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah, hop in okay. there. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Invite me. So okay. Bad. I'm back. I'm bringing. I'm bringing smart people. Smart they people. they they might talk they might not I don't know my homework oh, okay all right oh cool, cool. Oof. Oof. are you gonna help me with my calc homework all right Zach uh where you at are you gonna help me with my calc homework <laughs> all right all right what's going on you tell me. Oh, uh, are we talking about the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have, like, a document with everything? Uh... No, i just been taking, like, physical notes. Okay. They're a bit all over the place. Okay. Um, so, Oof. compositions, I actually want to look at uh, four in total, but I'll probably break it down to three. Okay. Um, goats and just goats variants. So that would be, like, May and... Sombra, uh, we have our bunker that we had run on uh, defense for like control point maps and um, Hammond composition, which you've seen from us before. And is that the three two one or the four? Or the quad? That's the that's the quad and okay. the three two one. Yes. Um, we we have two variants of it, and the last one was where the fuck is? It? Um. Were you watching? Did you watch the Gladiators and Chandu Hunter game? Chandu, Hongu, I don't know. I don't watch much. I just play a lot. Okay, so um, there's a composition that's been been run since like last year. Um, a little bit in the Korean contender stuff. It was a variant of dive. They would have um, a Brigitte instead of a second DPS. Fuck. So like, um, well, you mean McCree, McCree blob? 
like a it, it's like a McCree comp, but it's kind of really. like a McCree comp, but like a Genji and like the two dive tanks. So it would act more like a dive. So what they would do is they would kind of like have two separate cores. They would have the support core that would play closer to the point and around choke points. They're not choke points. Um, around corners and in little spots um, to dodge fire. And then you'd have the dive core that would be going after the or whatever was vulnerable. Um, recently, it's been uh, changed a little bit to to work against the Hammond compositions. Um, it's have it right here. It's uh, Brigitte, Moira, Lucio on like the support core. It's a very um, very hard to kill. They all cover for each other. Lucio speed, Moira heals, and Briggs bash shield. Um, and then we have for the dive Winston Diva Sombra. And the Sombra, what she does is she stays in the back line. She, um, against the Hammond comp, she wants to play pretty fast. So trying to find a hack, be very opportunist. And um, when she decloaks, Winston and Diva... Wait, this is Sombra floats, yeah? Mm, sort of, but it's played a really different. Why, is, why okay. is there so yes. many people in the Discord? Because so, we're doing... So I am just... Thing. I've honestly never seen this run... Okay. Um, at least in um, my scrims, but uh, so I can't talk about anything about this strat specifically. Okay, so, is this like so a map based the, only? This is this is um, pretty much for Hammond composition. It's a direct counter. Oh wait, wait for, against quad. Yeah, against quad's D, quad TPS and uh, yeah, three, two, one with a hand. Yeah, yeah, it can definitely be a uh, run against quad. Mhm. Mm okay. So that was. Yeah, I was I was just thinking that's like the... if you're gonna run out run out on that, that's not gonna go over well. No, no, no. Of course not. It's it's pretty much yeah. like you run out. Oh, look at Hammond, one eighty back to spawn. Mm -hmm. Um, and then like the only way to really be they have to swap the goats and then you swap. Uh, I also want to teach you something for Hanamura specifically. It's literally unbeatable. Is this, is this the May? Is this the May one? No, it's for attack. It's like a three two one for Hanamura three, two, attack one. point A. It's literally. You can't defend against it. What can you can you just tell me the roster yeah. real quick? Um Fair Mercy, Widow, Tracer, Hammond, Zen. Widow, Tracer, Hammond, Zen. Yeah. I can write this down, hold on. Okay, yeah. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about that, but I don't think I don't think it's in the map rotation is it? Okay. Anymore? What for for what? Uh for Tespa. I mean, we're just looking Tespa, at Tespa Tespa is every map, honestly. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it's well, like I... every map, and then like every um week, you have six different maps you run. Okay, that makes sense. I don't remember what rule set we were playing off of, but it was like the one that a lot of uh, the other people were screaming against, so we never really... We haven't actually played Hanamura in a while. Right, I, anyways, I can teach um... that I'd have to teach that to you guys with, with everybody here, because that's very specific stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but, okay, so yeah. For Maygoats, where do you want to run that? Um, I want to run that on just map specific, uh, something like Nepal Village, I think it's called, and uh, we always run it on Lijing Tower, the one indoors. Yeah, control center. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also think it has. Um, Who do you put on May? Diva. So that would be me, actually. Yeah. All right. Um. Do you guys okay? So when you're playing Maygoats there, right? You go up through um, up the stairs to the, to the server room, right? Yes. Not not the do. dark room. Uh, wait, is it white? No, it's not white. Um, so you go up to the server room there, right? Yes. Uh, so the server. If you don't run May, if you feel like the team you're going against will know how to play against it, go main. Don't go up those stairs if you don't have a May. Okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. Cause... Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. And then, do you know how to? Um, because you you have players that are all skill ranges. Do you know how to teach them literally everything? Um, or is there a certain can, role that you're not sure about? I can teach pretty much everything except for like Hammond and Ash. I know enough about everything else to like bring up to. Bring up pretty much everyone. Wait, have you guys gone over how to actually play goats and a few different variants of it? Uh, we talked about some basics, but we haven't really delved in. 
this is stuff I wanted to get into, but okay, uh, let's go over that because that is a combos. super, 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 super important thing. Awesome. We're going hero by hero, or are we going like hero by hero? What? Um, let's All make right. a list. Let's make a list of every hero here. Um, okay, let's just do a normal Ryan. Go have you guys run Zen Goats, Ana Goats, or what? We've run uh, Zen Goats, Winston Goats, um, Sombra Goats, May Goats. What, I mean, for your, um, what has your uh, flex support been support? going? Oh, pretty much Zen 24-7. We've okay. used Ana sometimes uh, when we're running Winston for the okay. Nanos. so Zen and Ana? Longer. Okay, good. Yeah. That makes it easy. And also, if we're, and also something I want to talk about, if they're running um, Sombra, then we could easily switch to um, Anna if we want to keep the goats. Yeah, that can work. Especially without the yeah, because if, if they're running goats with the yeah, they're probably not running the diva. Yep, yep. yep. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and then so... yeah, so her nades and her sleeps are very important with uh, Sombra goats because that'll be it becomes huge. A lot, becomes a lot more powerful. Yeah. yeah. Right, um, so for Zen and Ana goats, right, you're, if, so, let's start with Brig. Okay, so I start with Brig. Um, Can I just go over with what I know, and then we just go over it, and then you add things in case I forget stuff? Um, right, so for Brig, starting out, uh, first fight, you, if you know they're running goats, like on Legion Control Center, there's no fucking way they're not running goats. Your Brig right. could be playing with, um, with Ryan. So Brig plays with Ryan um, first fight, uh, unless you expect um, not goats. Mm -hmm. So if it's um, especially something with like a flanker, mm -hmm. sort of floating in the middle, so she can peel for the Zen. Yeah. And you yeah. want to make sure that your Zen and Ana, like your your Zen, isn't so far away that he's going to be fucked. Um, like, if you're running Zen Goats v. Zen Goats, uh, your Zen can either be, like, back behind main, or he can be, like, two feet behind your Ryan, um, or, like, two feet behind the center of the mass. Yeah, we because definitely it... talked about this with Josh mm -hmm. a little bit. He's normally our Zen, I think. It's really hard sometimes to remember. Um, we talked about positioning in general, but we have not gone map to map, t saying, like, if we fight here, then you should be around here. Um, yeah, like he should be in, he should be able special. to discord any of their team that you're mm -hmm. on, so he should be able to see at least one or two of them at a time. Right. Um. Yeah, and then so Brig, uh, you work with your Ryan. You can do speed bash shatters. You can mm -hmm. you want to protect your Ryan if you see their Brig going in for a bash, you bash her when she does it. Um, mm -hmm. if your Ryan, if you're expecting their, um, what should we call it? Their shatter, you can play inside of Reinhardt and like keep your shield up and maybe hopefully uh, bash their Ryan when it does it if you have good reflexes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you, especially if like you miss the Brig, you can also just go for the Reinhardt at that. Mm -hmm. Also, armor packs. Try not to if so if your team is taking a fuck out of spam, they're not playing goats right. Um, that mm -hmm. you should not have to waste armor pack on anybody except for Ryan for maybe over fifty percent of the time. Like it, you shouldn't have to like, you want you want pack for like right after Zarya bubble goes down, right? Once or once Zarya bubble goes down, or defensively, like uh, defensively, defensively, one hundred percent. You don't want gain space. Well, no, no. So mm, you're running it on goats, right? Uh, you yes. your Ryan is close enough We're just to shield. Goats goats. Yeah, Ryan Ryan is close enough to swing. He asks for bubble. He swings twice. His bubble is down. He's now down 200 health. That's when your pack is thrown out. Not a second before. Got it. Um, like you don't want to use pack on the Zarya that's like looking at an off and that's playing an off angle to build grav, and then she takes a fucking 10 shots to the head from Zen, and then yeah. she's 2 HP, so you have to use pack on her, and then you're still initiating, and you have no pack to help Ryan, and he dies. Mhm. Mm Absolutely. Um. What else? Yeah, like every single ability has it you... needs to be explained. I think for for this team especially, because um, um, they don't have. What's the speed boost for rally? Um... Speed boost is not important for rally. It's I don't think I've ever actually used it for. I speed mean, I've boost. seen it, I've seen it a lot to set up. Um, Holy brig gets speed. I mean, I've seen it a lot. I've seen it a lot using rally. 
not only engage. Well, yes, yeah, so rally is used to engage. Um, it is also used to, um, to like to turn the winning fight because like if if you have beat already down and they still have like um a shatter, you can use your rally in inside of beat so that it builds underneath the beat. Um, right. and that way at the end everybody has it up. Um, I should be running some of these down. Damn it. So I'm running some of these down. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Um. Strat. What? On the there is an outdated strat on goats in goats v goats where where the brig um after initiating with a rally for the team beelines it to the enemy's end. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds suicidal. What the fuck? Yeah, I think that's why I said that outdated. shouldn't. Yeah, that should not happen anymore. Um, you surprised. might be able to get away with it in lower ranks, but I would not recommend it ever. To you're just gonna build bad habits. No. Yeah. No. We want to keep the break courses of the Reinhardt, if not behind most points. Yeah. Also, like, if you're, if they're, if you're, okay, so you make sure, like, eh, well, wait, we'll, we'll get to that next. Um, okay, so we've covered pretty much everything for Brig. Right. Um, yeah. And then if they're running, like, a Sombra something, oh, yeah, okay, so Brig's whip. Um, look for the D.Va to boot. Look for the, look to boot the D.Va, look to boot the, bleh, look to boot the D.Va to initiate your... Um, inspire, because Diva's almost always out somewhere playing some weird ass off angle, and she's usually very easy to hit. Um, and you want you want to have that inspire up twenty four seven if possible, because that would be cool. Absolutely, yeah. I think Josh just found out. How... Um. So so when you say boop for the uh, go for the Diva on the whip dot. Is that having to do anything with her position, like messing up her position, or purely for um, both fire up time? Both. Okay. Like um, if you see her like um, boost her up to like some off angle on like let's say you're defending on on King's Row first point and the diva like jumps on top of the of like the um what's it called to the statue or something like that. That's prime boop target. Mm -hmm. Um, like anytime she uses booster, prime boop target. Um, because then it fucks up her positioning. Maybe she's now even stuck inside of your team. Um, then it's a then it's that's potential out of position kill there. Um, yeah. Next hero. Who's the next hero? You know, like thirty seconds. I'm just gonna use the bathroom real quick. Okay. Davey there. Yeah. Any questions about Brig? I was actually with you when uh, whoever your coach was talking about it, so I heard most of the stuff. Oh, okay, cool. But yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't hurt to hear it. Yeah. What's the next hero? Uh... I'm actually going to head out of the call because I just joined a placement. Monk ass. Uh, Elijah, the first VOD is uploaded. Oh. Yeah, Elijah, the first VOD from today is uploaded, the King's Row. Alright. Um. Hey. Hey, Josh. Hey, Tilt. How's it going? What's up? How's Not the much. grind going? It's it's a go. It's a go. You still above that uh, cap? Yeah. Well, ish. Yeah. <laughs> ish. What does that mean? Yeah. Well, I am yeah. back. On on one account, I am. On the other account, I'm not. But it's fine. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, can you play on your other account on the team, Stellar? No. No. I'm I'm off. The, I'm managing the team now. I'm not playing for it anymore. Is that a mm -hmm. is that a yay or nay? It's, um. It's it's good, I guess. <laughs> um, you don't I'm want to be playing, playing with them. Two point three k. Oi, oi, oi! Elijah's the coach for it. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> scout Hi, my name is Josh. Nice to meet you, Elijah. I was totally joking about what I said before. <laughs> Hi. 
Um, no, I'm playing with the uh, upper team as a sub right now, so it's fun. Nice. I'm managing another team, so it's it's busy. A lot on your hands. No, not at all. <laughs> what? Right. No, uh, it's fine. Everything's fine. Anyway. Zach? Yes, yes. All right. Man. Next hero. Um, who do you want to do next? Um, who's wait? Who's oh. your um lowest tier or lowest ranked players? What do they play? Uh, Zarya. Zarya. Okay, let's do Zarya. Um, okay. So bubbles are the most important thing in goats, just like every other ability in the game. Um, so her bubbles are should be used for like. When Ryan wants to swing on on their team, he, she should not try to be building charge unless if you know it's not going to be another eight seconds until you go into the fight. So let, let's say you're regrouping still, then she can then it's okay to use a bubble to build some charge when you're waiting, as long as she's not feeding. Um, you'd you'd have to vod review with her about um where she's actually standing to let her know where when or what is feeding and what's not. Right. Um. Yeah. Uh, also, if you're in the middle of a team fight, don't walk in front of your Ryan just to bubble for charge. That will kill you. That will lose the fight. Um, just be patient. You will get the charge in a second. Um, you know, uh, yeah, just melt, melt Ryan shields, melt divas, melt everything. You know, you're like the biggest damage dealer on, on the team. If you're high charge and you're you want to be playing around, if you have the high charge Zarya advantage and they don't have a high charge Zarya, you push for your Zarya. You get within the range of your Zarya. You melt their shield. You melt their your you melt their Ryan. You melt their Annex, and you just melt everything based off of your Zarya, because they don't have any DPS to match you. Um, what's next for Zarya? Yeah, it's pretty much keeping your Ryan alive. Like, if he asks for it just so he can swing on, on the enemy team, she can say... She should also be calling when she uses her bubbles. Um, Something we've been working on. Yeah, like, you have bubble. Um, or I'm giving you bubble on, on this on this initiation. You have bubble. Bubble's, done, bubble's gone. Um, and then no bubble. Like, she should be... If, like, you're in a grav, um, and they have a diva bomb, she should be holding on to her bubbles until right before that diva bomb is going off. Make sense? Yes. Um, and if she doesn't have anything to protect you against the, the diva bomb, she needs to be yelling at the top of her lungs, no bubbles, go hide for cover or something, or that so right. somebody else can take care of the shielding. Um, and also she should be bubbling um, whoever will die to it. Like, don't bubble Orion. He should not be able to die to a bomb because he has a shield. Mm -hmm. um, but if you see, like, Ana on the other side of the grav, then the Rhine and the, the bubble, then definitely bubble the Ana and bubble yourself um, for the uh, for the protection there. Might be forgetting a few things for Zarya. Uh, we can talk about Graviton? Grav. Oh, yeah, Grav. Grav bomb combos. Um, you should initiate, oh, okay, so watch D.Va eat, once, once, if, if it goes down, you have about half a second to actually press Q before it's gonna get eaten. If the enemy mm -hmm. team's playing along a wall, you can grab the wall to pull them into it. Right. If they're not, then you just have to watch the D.Va. You literally have to tunnel vision the D.Va and make sure it doesn't get eaten. Right, wall um, grab, corner, two seconds on DM. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and make sure if you grab, it it's, can be capitalized on. You don't want to grab across the map. You want to grab closer so you can either get on there with Ryan swinging, or you can or you can get a Diva Bomb in there. Um, and also, only grab when you have a combo ready. Like, And damage could potentially be a combo if they don't have any defensive ults. Mm -hmm. Like, you could just swing in to their their stuff if they don't have any beats or any trances. What else? Oh yeah. 
grabbing two is okay. Grabbing just the Ryan is okay. Um, mm-hmm. As long as y'all kill the fucker at some point soon. Um, you can work on... That's more of something in Vaude Views that you'd have to go over on what's actually a good... Um, a right, good uh, exactly. grab. Uh, what's, your, what's your opinion on counter grab, especially against Diva no. Bombs? It's dumb. Unless you have your own Diva Bomb and you have bubbles up. If you have bubbles to protect yourself um, and your Diva when she goes to to Diva Bomb, because like, if you're stuck in grab, you don't have any fucking damage on their grab. You're, you're, too, you're paying attention on keeping your team alive for a few seconds. Um, unless you have like a Diva Bomb to actually follow up, it's dumb. I mean, true, true, but it, on the higher uh, levels, I've been watching Contenders and Overwatch. Yeah, weeks, so they do that, like... but I would not trust their team to do it properly, honestly. Like, I would not, I would not have them do it unless until you guys get goats down properly. Yeah, then, so then once you understand, pins onto the Reinhardt. Yeah, like once you understand how to like, so, or once yeah. once the fights are winnable, then you guys can start counter grabbing. Okay, yeah, okay. If we start seeing that, then yeah. We might have to make that call. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go over that in a bit. But for right now, I'd say don't plan on 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 doing counter grabs. Don't. I honestly just wouldn't even teach it to him. Um, okay, I'm sure he doesn't know it. <laughs> but yeah, have that have that on for later once you guys get the basics down. Okay. Um... But yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Zarya positioning. So like, um, mid early fight. Zarya can be playing like. Uh, can you turn my stream on for for a second? Uh, you should be able to right click on my name. That's right. It's better than Discord. What? Actually. Oops. Watch stream. Okay, give me one second. Perfect. Hmm. Okay, so we have Lijong Control Center here as an example. Let's say Orion is here. Uh, that's too small. Okay, Uranus. God damn it. Oh. Uranus here, right? And then you have mm-hmm. the rest of your team over here. It's okay oh. for Zarya to be playing an off angle over here and like shooting in over here. And let's say the Ryan is like over here, and then the rest of his team is over here. Maybe those Zarya's over here. It's okay for your Zarya to be like outside and and shooting in this little off angle here. Um. Or maybe even like here to build that charge, um, or to build her to build her grab charge, because um, sometimes she, if she's just over here, yay, she's shooting shield. But they're also maybe they're not shooting. Maybe their Zara's not shooting shield, and then you lose because they get to snowball you faster because they have better old old management. Does that make sense? He crashed. Pepe hands. There you are. Yep. I'm oh, sorry. I just I left just so I can hear the stream. You're. Oh. Oh yeah. You can mute the stream. Um. Sorry. Oh, okay. Well, okay. it's on the delay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I've definitely studied some of Sinatra's work on off angles and. Okay. Okay. That's good. Um, yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Just make sure he doesn't go feeding with those off angles right um you also maybe have a code word for feeding or like if if they can't handle like your feeding and if that tilts them then use some other word for it okay. um because like letting your team know that they're just out of position or overextending is very important um because like being able to do that mid fight is actually really strong and your ryan can probably tell up to them your ryan is like your your big carry your Right, he's pretty high SR? Yes. Okay. 
Do you know if he plays for any other teams? Uh, he does. I don't know what it is, though. Okay. And he probably knows a few things, then. Mm -hmm. He's Cause... a smart boy. Okay, that's good. I don't have to worry about too much about him. Okay. Uh, who's next for goats? Oh, right. Um... So, um, May goats? Right. You're you're playing off of walls, and if you fuck wall, um, you're fucked. <laughs> oh, yeah, fact. Um, so yeah, like make sure you're playing in positions where you can wall them off. Like learn on those few maps. Like learn where you we wall them off. Like um, I might actually have this already, somewhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know I know at least the maps that we run where we wall off, and a couple of other ones that we haven't done on yet. But that's something we have to go over as a team, right? Um. Yes. Yes. One hundred percent. Because then, if if you're maze walling shit off, but nobody else knows what the fuck she's doing, um, it's not going to help at all. Awesome. Okay. That's cool. where that's is it? Wait, what the hell is this? Fuck. All right. Oh yeah. Um. Oh wait, did I actually have this? I might actually have all this shit already. Hold on. Uh, no, okay, I have something else. Um... Right. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty much it for Zarya off the top of my head. Um who's next? Um Diva. Diva? Okay, grab bomb combos. Um learn the timing. Um you know, if they don't have bubbles, that's when you want to be grab bombing. You know, if they don't have shield and they don't have bubbles, that's holy shit, grab immediately. Um, like, wait, l like, pressure that fucking diva so she uses DM, and then once it's down, you grab immediately. Um, and then try to kill Zarya or Ryan first. Um, inside that grab, then they don't have anything to stop the, the, the grab bomb combo. Uh, or the, the diva bomb from killing all of them. Uh, what's next? Yeah, yeah. Grab bomb combo. Eating, eating on an aids if they have one. Eating grabs. Um, you know, once once you know that they have a grab, um, you should be watching for it. Try your fucking best not to get the mech and not to fucking use use your um your matrix uselessly. You know, if you're right, hmm? I'm pretty good with um. Like TNT and um, gravitons. Is there any tips for nade? Is there like a sound nade? that I'm missing? So it almost it's, it's... if you're near a wall, watch for it. If you're walking through somewhere, it's literally like. And so I just have to predict it, right? Yeah. If you have to, it's like if you know she has it, or if it's been more than eight seconds as her last one, you need to be watching out for it. You need to take it two steps back. You know, shoot, shoot whatever you're shooting. Take two steps back look for that nade mm -hmm. um like just keep your eye on ayana um you know just like go into a custom game watch how she throws it from like far away and you can like recognize what it looks like very easily um even through a bunch of shit you, sh you might be able to figure out what it is um it won't okay. actually be that bad um but yeah sometimes it's very difficult you know especially like um whenever you're pushing in and you're near a wall just look up because she's probably gonna hit the wall behind you um yeah that's pretty much all you can do and then it just comes with experience of you know just just playing against honest and stuff okay yeah, that, was, that was the one i had the most issues with yeah because like um if you are needed then you really can't go anywhere especially with goats because goats relies on being able to heal up yeah in the neutral if, yeah uh if they're if in the neutral when you're postured up against their goats front line mm -hmm. If you see if you see multiple tanks drop to half HP, expect an A coming. Yeah. Okay.
Also, yeah. mm -hmm. the, the the grab bomb combo. There's two variations and timings. Mm -hmm. uh, One. Is it like immediate and then uh, a little delayed for like boops? Yes. If you're doing immediate, you want to kind of you. For the most part, you want to kind of just try to land it in the grab, like mm -hmm. basically in the in the middle of their in the middle of the grab in the middle of their whole team. Yeah. If you want the if you want to delay it, uh, I think it's by a second. Mm -hmm. Um, you literally wait for the grab. You literally wait for the grab to end, and then you and you want to put it at opposing angles to your team. Hmm. The bomb. Yeah, and also. Um, a cool thing is if you grab and it's a little and it ends a little bit after the the grab is over, you can get Lucio to boop the right upwards, and you'll almost definitely get a kill. Right. There's another also another trick, another like very niche trick to that as well. Say if they're if their Ryan has shatter, and it's a like if you notice that he likes to counter shatter grabs. And you grab them against the hard surface, uh, like a wall or something like that, or even payload, technically. Ooh. Ryan's shatter animation technically gets him out of the grab. Right, I've seen this before. You can like jump out of it. You can't get all the way, but you can like take weird angles. There is a very small window where you can just boop him up. Okay. But so that may be something we could talk very, about for this is, Lucio. Very neat. Yeah, that's that's something I'd say do once you know your Lucio's not going to feed and die when he does that. I mean, our, I think our Lucio is the other uh, GM. Oh, player. right. He's for, yeah, okay. He might he might probably know some of these already. Um, then you can definitely mm -hmm. tell him about this because he can definitely try to do this shit in your in your games. Because right. this one's new. Are you saying you want him boop, boop him straight up or are you saying boop him out up. of the grav? Okay. Well, either or. Because, yeah, because like booping him up, he'll be up in the air for like an, a second and a half. He'll. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm thinking. I'm just thinking because, like, for both of them, he would be out of position for the actual bomb when it lands. Um, yeah, and also when it's up. The thing is, if you boop him out, like, if you boop him horizontally, the issue with that Sorry. is that your team might be in a bad position, and half of them could get shattered anyways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you boop him up, he's in. He's literally in, in uh, okay. shatter okay. animation for like a 1.5 second hang time. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I get that. Let me talk about this a bit. Okay. Is there anything else for Diva? Um, we said on Diva. Is there anything else to talk about? I don't know. Diva's the only oh, hero um, I don't play in goats. Probably talk about. Um, bombs without grabs. Uh, don't unless you can confirm at least yeah, two kills. Like, um, be very, very wary of what you're actually doing with the bomb. Um, are you clearing cart for overtime? That's cool. Are you um, are you just bombing because there's people? <laughs> That's not I mean, good. I mean, when when I bomb, I normally I, I normally always wait for to see at least one Zarya bubble be used. And if it's not with like uh, another ultimate, I used to, I usually like to combo it with speed boost, uh, put it in between their team, try to like split them and isolate anyone I can. Um, sometimes I just throw a bomb because I think like somebody's out of position, and I can get the kill on them. Uh, don't do so those anymore. More, that's a little bit more rare. Yeah, don't. don't yeah, do try not to often. do those. Um, because you you you're so the thing about. The goats. If you can um, combo your ults pro ult pro or use your ults properly, you will snowball them into hell. Like they will not be able to leave spawn, and it's going to be fucking mm -hmm. hilarious. Um, and wasting diva bomb is a big oof. Cause like yeah, Ryan or Shatter and Grav are the the big ones, but diva bomb is actually in like every every ability is insanely powerful, and you just don't want to use it just because you think it'll work. You ha you should know it will work. You I, mean, like, I have you a should... pretty good sense with diva bombs. I've been practicing it a lot, even just like in practice ranges, trying to land uh, bombs on top of bots' heads. You can also use it proactively if it, if you have no other tank ults, you can mm -hmm. use it. You can use it to your advantage. Oh yeah, definitely. Say, let's say for example, like you're coming up at the end of like a streets phase, right? Let's say 
let's say Dorado, end of Dorado streets phase, right? Um, you have decent time, you have positional advantage, and they're co they're trying to come out for a last contest. You have objective advantage. You could yeet you could yeet the bomb past their choke. Once they're kind of once they're in the choke, you can force a positional event, force them to force them to force them out of position from their position any positional advantage they can gain. And let's say you have amp or let's say or rally up something to give you into an initiate initiative advantage. <laughs> you can um you can just fo you can kind of focus targets there once they fuck up. Right. It's yeah. It, it does put a, a lot of. It's a very specific example, but I mean, like, it does put a lot of pressure yeah. onto everyone because they have to either dodge it or block it. It's a creative. It's trying to just kind of in general just advising you like think a little more creatively <laughs> with a little it. More art than science. Yeah, think of a little more create more uses to be creative with it. Like if it's like right, your right. only tank alts, like you don't you don't like your. You don't have to just default to work on. I'm going to use it to stall card if the fight goes bad. Mm -hmm. um, like it doesn't always have to be your plan B. I have okay. This is not a goats thing. Uh, this is just a quick question on Diva. Um, I have some mixed reactions with Diva Bomb against uh, Genji Blade, especially like Nano Blade, at least for zoning um, opinions. It's like three seconds. That he could still get like a couple kills off, which could be really disastrous. But you know, it's also yeah, a lot of pressure on him. It's map. It's map geometry based, and it's at the same time it's still up to your your supports. If your supports are in a position to get insta killed, then it's not worth. Okay. All right. Just that was just a quick question. Um... Still, so talk about Lucio, which we covered a little bit, and then Zen Zenyatta. Yeah. Okay, so Lucio, his amp should really be used um, for emergency healing. Um, like, let's say Orion is taking a shit ton of damage, you have no pack, it's time to amp it up uh, for heals. Um, make sure you call it out um, for when when they're you want to use amp second, and you win. You can use it to chase them. You can use it to, to um, run away from them. Uh, you know, like if they're initiating on you and you don't have any bubbles, it's time to amp out. Um, or like if you don't have any bubbles and you don't have grav or something like that, then it's time to amp out. Um, yeah, it's pretty much like the big thing about amping that I don't see that I don't see enough is that people like amping to disengage. Um, also, like if you're pushing like at their spawn you push until lucio has amp it up uh, until ha lucio has amp and then you run out with amp um like once they start spawning you you like hold until he has amp and then you run away and you uh, that's, you like the 12, that's like the 10 second thing right i know it's 12 seconds but it's pretty much the same um right? i don't know it's just like you'll notice like you you you're like killing them and you're killing them and then you notice that them start to spawn that's when he's that's when you you wait for your lucio or you ask your lucio lucio tell us when you have the uh -huh. amp so we can get the hell out of here properly okay. um that's that's the big thing with him um beating don't hold beat for a year um I'm trying to remember when specifically you're supposed to beat um if you oh he he's the good yeah he, he can probably try to um, beat bombs. It, it's eh, eh. I don't um, know. That's kind of a weird thing to do sometimes. Like you can you can beat to sustain, um, to keep your tanks alive if you don't have anything else to do. Um, you can you can try to save beat for for um if they have EMP, your Lucio hides until you, he hides where he can beat within a second after EMP gets off. Because the second EMP uh, gets off, they're gonna shatter and then you're all gonna die in a second later. So he needs to be able to. This would be a place where he won't get EMP'd, but he will be in position a second later to, to beat all of you on the floor. It's a, it's a 0.9 cast time. Yeah. And like the half a second for when you hit, you can like drag it across. Like around corners and shit. It's weird mechanically, but okay. Okay. Um, yes. But yeah. 
Um, Zen. At the same time, with support alts, like with specific, like Lucio and Zen alts, like I'm, don't I'm, over, don't overthink it too much. Like mm -hmm. if you're if you're if you're getting grab bombed and you don't have trans, like beat it, beat it. Because yeah. like it doesn't matter if you have the cooldowns to survive, if you have the bubbles, if you have the Ryan angle, the break shield. Like it doesn't matter if you can have, have all of those all that utility to survive the bomb if they just if they just damage and kill your team anyway. Yeah. Also think about your win condition versus their win condition. You know, like if they have um, shatter and grav and bomb. You know, maybe trank um, if they shatter first, and then beat if they grab bomb first. Um. That way, because like beat has potential to save you versus in the um, diva bomb, where it, where trance does not. Right. Um, so like keeping an open mind for that kind of stuff, and also don't try not to do them both at the same time. That's a major oof. You know, like plan with your, um, plan with the Lucio who's gonna beat or who's gonna who's gonna ult first. Yeah, France got it. Yeah. Um, generally from. A lot of things I've seen, um, and just some consensus with a couple of pros, at least on stream or something, um, that trance was more of a defensive ult, and uh, you can use a or in yeah, general, yeah, yeah, this yeah. isn't hundred percent, mm -hmm. but trance would be more defensive, and beat would be more um, offensive, especially because you can still uh, apply discords. Yeah, it's not um, supposed to be used to initiate. Um, right, like. But... Uh, I mean, my 4.4k team has done that before, um, and we win because of it, but I still don't exactly agree with it, because they're just going to disengage. Like, it, maybe if they don't have, or if, maybe if they have, like, a bunch of, um, if they have, like, no more abilities left, but they have a fuck ton of damage coming at you, maybe you can. Um... Because, like, yeah, you might have more health, but they're still gonna... They, they still have their ability to literally just run away. Um, and then, congrats, beat wasted, but maybe you get point. Who knows? Um, it's something to think about for your Lucio. Um, that, or actually something for your Shot Caller to think... Or your Shot Caller or your old Tracker to be... Or old Planner to be um, calling in-game. And that can be, like, vod reviewed if it fucks up. Keep in mind the uh, keep in mind the sequence of events with alts, with uh, and go and a goats be goats. Say, let's say you're down alt economy, and you're defending like you're defending a point. Let's say you're on control, on control point specifically, and you're down alt economy. Enemy goats team pushes in and wipes you with like wipe you with like two three alts or at least not at least like gets enough gets like picks with it you know like two three picks in a situation like that committing trance committing trance to a lost fight has value to just to build your own alts depending on who's alive okay so there's also so, a thing. Okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry. There's also yeah. a thing too with Zen with Zen trance specifically. If your Zen fucks up positioning, or an enemy team wants to hard focus your Zen for some reason, and the in the six v six, it's like don't don't die, don't just die with trance. Mm -hmm. Like if it gets forced out of you, just kind of suck it up. It's it's preferable over just dying. I mean, there's situations. Yeah. Oh, um. You're, 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 but don't but don't that. just let your team fight a five v six. Uh, question about that. So, in in a scenario where they're where they force, for example, so if let's say we're up by, let's say we cap point first and we're up by let's say fifty percent, so king of the hill, and it's six v six. Right, and then they they hard focus. Well, I play Zen. They hard focus me. Do I do use trance in that scenario? Like, I, if, I, yes, to stay alive. It, yeah. yeah, to stay alive. I'm yeah. saying. Because mm -hmm. at that point, yeah. at that point, if you cycled your ult, you cycled your ult economy properly, like 
they have to commit more. They have to commit more to take it from you. You have objective advantage then. Okay. They have. They need to get the point, and they will commit more if they need to, if it's necessary, to get it. You for if you trance it, like your team can fight out, and you can pretend you're pulling alts and you're building your own. Right. And you're also not letting your team just get five v six. Okay. Because if they if, if you die you die there, they all of a sudden have to commit less alts. Right. Would you suggest in that situation? I mean, I guess it is, you know, it's it's, it's it varies from team fight to team fight. But in general, is there a consensus that uh, if Zen is forced to use trance, you should use that trance to get aggressive or use that trance to regroup and sort of like stabilize? I think goats be goats. I would lean towards aggressive. Okay. And the a general like like a very very basic and generalized rule of goats play is that in that composition like you pick the you pick you pick when you want to fight and where you want to fight you don't want to be you don't you don't want to be on the back foot necessarily unless mm -hmm. you have a counter punch play um i mean in the ghost with goats it makes sense to be more aggressive what about in a different situation against a different composition? Is there a consensus? I, that that's what I was interested in knowing. Um, again, yeah. like wait, say, say again. Like... What was your question? If Zen ult is forced out by say a dive on the back line, mm -hmm. um, would it be more beneficial to use that time to regroup, position a Zen back into a better position, like? You go to the team. You use the last second to get the hell out of there. Sort of, yeah, get out of dodge and then sort of um, plan that next dive. Or would it be, what's up? Or would it be more beneficial to, in the trance, get aggressive on the enemy team while you have that six seconds of uh, well, vulnerability? The though, like, enemy team is inside of you when they do that. So you should be killing the things trans. that are inside of you on, on, the, on your Zen that force them to trans. Yes. Um, that that should be your first priority when doing that. Um, you don't have to have an answer. I was just curious if there was one. Yeah, yeah, there there, is, there most certainly is. Like, cause if you just ignore the thing that just made the force your trans out, like maybe let's say it's a Sombra by herself, um, yeah, that forces then... your trans out, then you have to make the decision of either disengage and build ults again, or make a new plan. Um, and like this is gonna be on the shot caller. Like, okay, you're down trans. Now what the fuck do you do? Um, maybe your your plan was to just let yourselves let your Ryan get grabbed and then trans him to keep him alive. Um, whoops, that plan's fucked. Um, okay. Time to come up so with a new would... plan. All right, so it's very situational then. Yeah. All right. Uh, is there anything before we move on? Uh, talk more about Zen. Is there anything we want to talk a little bit more about Lucio? We still haven't talked about positioning, uh, use of wall rides or boops. Oh right. Okay. So. Boop shatters, of course. Boop grab shatter. Boop grab. I mean, boop grab bomb. Um, so is, there. Wait, wait, let's wait, say wait. Playing, let's say you're holding out a choke, whether either attack or defense, it doesn't particularly matter. But you're in a position where they have to push into you, right? And usually, what do chokes have? Walls, walls, and so and and a lot of. <laughs> And a lot of Sorry. these, and a lot of these chokes, like there's like an overhead or something like that, right? Ooh, yeah. So you can position your, your Lucio to get the boop on one of their tanks into your team. That's very. That's a. That's a kind of a more aggressive Lucio play. Mm -hmm. It's not. I've definitely yeah. seen that from um, on Ilios, on a goats be goats. Yeah, if you much, if you have a very okay. if you have a very skilled Lucio like in the go to you, it's like you have to. It's like playing. It's like playing Sombra 
in a lot of ways where you have to know like know when and when to switch your play style you know like do you go for the reddit play here or do you go for a very a more safer team play awesome All right. Um, the law. I don't know. When you were talking about combos with boops, you said boop shatter, mm -hmm. boop grab bomb, and boop grab. What is boop? Grab? No, no, that, that like was that was just um. I meant like booping um, after grab in case everything fucks oh, up. Okay, you boop okay. the rhyme back up, and you you finish off with the bomb, or you finish off with the with the shatter or something. Um, but also like you can um. I, I think uh. What should we call it? I think I should just said this like where you um you're playing above choke so you can boop the Ryan inside of you um unexpectedly or something. You can so the Lucio it can potentially bully the their their Reinhardt or like deny them positioning, but that is 100% entirely on the skill of your Lucio. If he knows how to walk roll ride and play Reddit Lucio, then this might actually be the comp to play Reddit Lucio. Um, don't do it if you're expecting to use beat to save yourselves. Um. Because then he needs to be close enough to actually help you guys. Um, but, you know, he can definitely be playing, like, above an enemy team sometimes. to so, like, boop him off of high ground when they're trying to move to point or something like that. Um, besides that, he should usually just be inside of your team. You know, because that amp it up is going to be so important for your sustainability or your chasing or your retreating. Um... Cause yeah, it's just super important there. So like, he should either be inside of your team, hiding around a corner for EMP, um, or playing above the enemy team and dying and denying them high ground and such. Um... Uh, I have a question. It's it's for Lucio and Zen. So if there's in what situation for like, uh, Sombra goats. What it gets trance and what? Gets... Oh, summer goats. Um, so yeah, wait, when you're this. running summer goats? Uh, when, they when they're are. running summer goats, what gets trance and what gets beat? Right, shatter gets, um, gets trance. Okay. And then because they're usually gonna try to do um an EMP bomb, or it, right. or well, okay, if they have EMP, your Lucius should be hiding, um, ready for his for his ult. Um, okay. like, he should be hiding around a wall, and then be, he should be, like, close enough where he can put out the, uh, put his ult out before your team gets fucked after EMP. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. I mean, depending on what they have, um. Right, if, if they still yeah, if, have. If they're gonna, if they're gonna fuck, fuck your Ryan immediately, it's better to have Trance on, um, on deck than Beat. I'm. It just depends on what the enemy win condition is after the EMP. Yeah, like if if their if your run is super low and you need it to sustain, use trans. Um, because just save just save um beat for after EMP if possible, because getting all that stripped away from EMP is a big oof. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. If we are up against another Reddit Lucio, um, from from what it looks like at the highest level, it's normally uh, the enemy Reddit Lucio to sort of contest them, make sure they can't get any crazy plays off or, uh, you know, move, move positions of your tank around. Yeah, um, if he's being too much of a pest, um, have like a D.Va or a Zarya just go hog. Legit. Okay. If, if he's just outskilling you guys, just have somebody go hog. Okay. But generally, in the mirror, it is your Lucio's job too. Yeah, that keep that's him away. What I okay. Um... Thing about also, and man, this might be obvious, but it can be forgotten. The times, it's like even if you are hiding or LOSing, expecting the EMP, regardless of what you plant keep both supports outside of EMP range from each other. Mm. Yeah. So let's say you plan it out. You know they have EMP and you plan it out and they decide to path it away in a way you didn't 
expect and all of a sudden the one hiding is now closest to the enemy team and you have to rotate that right mm -hmm. when you're doing if you're and, and when you're doing so keep the supports away from emp range of each other okay great anything else for lucia stuff I'm pretty satisfied on Lucio. Last character is Zen if we want to move on. Okay. Um, Zen. Right. Be in a position where you can Discord them, but you're not going to die. Don't be... You should not be able to see six of them, I think. I don't think you should be able to see six of them. Mm, yeah, never mind. Ignore that comment. Um, but yeah, just stay alive. Stay. Use your trance to stay alive if you absolutely have to. Um... You know, like, uh, make sure you're you're discording the right targets. Um, if you're you discord Ryan first, kill him, have him melt. Um, discord again after they use bubble on him. Uh, when you have trans, stay close enough to trans. If uh, if they have EMP, try to hide. Um, but be but still be useful. Actually, you might not have to hide exactly. You can probably just stay just further back. Um, because his line of sight can still shoot and and his abilities are based on line of sight and stuff. Um, but also if you're running... Um, if you, if they're running, like, not goats, or if they're running Winston goats, you need to play inside of your team. If they're not, if they're running a Ryan goats v. Ryan goats, then you can play a little bit further back, probably. Um, yeah. Cause, the and, Harmony Orb has a very similar... very similar... Um like rule of thumb basis as the armor pack and the mm -hmm. goats be goats um start of initiate start of engagement just, just like just keep that on your rhyme for the most part and adjust accordingly as as you break down into the mid fight yeah like default it to rhyme um heal up anybody who's taking use of spam tell them to stop feeding um and then keep it back keep, put it back on Ryan and then Probably help your Zarya, keep your Zarya alive, um, mid fight. Um, your Ryan and your Zarya are your like your biggest. Your your tanks are your big ones. Everybody needs to be kept alive, but like your Ryan and your Zarya cannot die. Uh, you probably heard the strat the stat where it's like only five percent of team fights are won if Zarya is dead. If your Zarya is dead, um, like that's how important Zarya is um, for your goats. Right. We gotta talk about. It. I gotta talk to you about that. What? It's... From what I'm hearing, I guess it... I'm playing Zen okay. Oh, your Zen's not bad at all, dude. Yeah, because I think I got like I I do do most of these. I think the majority the majority, thing... of, the majority yeah. of things we actually need to talk about is less of the what should you do and more of the like. No, I think it's more of just team. More of not feeding. Like, or I don't or think how to play as really, a team. I don't I think don't we really need to cover too much about like when to use trance or how to set up for grav bombs. Of course, we can make them better mm -hmm. and talk about a lot of micromanaging stuff, but I think a lot of it has to do with VOD reviews and uh, decision making. Yep. Okay. I agree with that 100%. Right. So let's just make sure you have the right ideas first, and then we can go right. in. Um, and then we'll give you guys a few scrims to work on this stuff, and to like, and then you guys can probably VOD review it yourselves, and if you're having trouble, at me or at some coach somewhere, um, and yeah, they can probably help you out. Here. It is wonderful. Um. True. Um, do we, should we, on Sunday, VOD review our Thursday scrim? Um, uh, it would be lovely. No. I won't. No, 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 no. Why not? You're learning. You're learning some new stuff now. Um, just don't even bother about the other shit, okay? You know I'm saying okay. we haven't scrimmed it yet. We'll scrim it on Thursday. Oh, oh, the, and then yes, yes, then definitely. Like this, <laughs> like then, this you know, Thursday, actually, yeah. I would actually recommend like scrim once. If that goes absolutely horrid, and it's be and you all thought you you were playing it right, you were just getting outplayed, then definitely vote of you. If y'all think when you were just playing like shit and you you just had bots on your team that day, then 
scrum again, and then Valdivia that. Right. So I'm saying, like, no, I'm saying, like, what what's the idea for what 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 do we want for Sunday's session? Sunday, this 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 upcoming Sunday is yes. you all learn how to go properly, and then um, I have to go to bed is soon, that, but is hopefully. Is that through a VOD review or is that? No, not a VOD review in game. Okay. Honestly, I'd say start with two people there, or start with two or three people there. Don't it's wait for the whole fun. team because they're all gonna fucking bot out and fall asleep halfway through. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, Eric is gonna be driving back, but he said he can be on the call. He just won't be able to like. Okay. Um, okay. You know what I'll do for Sunday? I'll give a list of things for um, for each character, and then you guys can look up that over, and then we can talk about that um, individually on um, Sunday. You can also check my VOD for this. I'll upload it to YouTube. I'll send you a link later. Um, that yes, way you can just speed through timestamps. Mm -hmm. Oh, you spectated the whole thing? What? No, no, no. He's talking about talk, our talk right, right now. now. Oh, I thought you were talking so, about our screw. So we, so we talked about everyone except actually the Reinhardt. Oh, Rein, um, don't die, don't feed, don't press okay. charge unless you know you can secure a kill and not be out of position. Um, work with your Lucio to shatter, uh, shield versus antis, um, inside grabs. Um, it's it's all on the Rein to play to outplay their Rein. You know, uh, call for bubbles when you want to swing. Um, make sure you're giving the call for path thing. Make sure you're giving the target call for goats. Um, Winston is Winston dive is not actual. I mean, Winston goats is not an actual fucking dive. Um, he it plays a little differently. Can't explain it better than that at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, what else is there? Don't fire strike if you know they have fucking tra uh, shatter. Um, what we need to talk about what just like is it ryan like, getting outplayed he should not be getting outplayed like your team should like never be getting shattered honestly also your team should no, not be ryan playing is, behind uh, your ryan when they have shatter don't play behind your ryan even if he has his shield up like play behind a wall Definitely and like be peeking because i don't think our ryan is getting outplayed so much i think the problem is is that he is a 4.3, and so he plays more aggressive, a little more aggressive than at least I personally am used to. Then listen to every. Honestly, when you play with higher rank players, you're gonna feel like you're feeding your ass off, but you're just just follow what they're doing. Um, okay. And if he yells at you, back the fuck off. Like just just try to trust him. Um, and then like if he's really being an idiot, then just get it vaude viewed. Okay. Because, like, he understands, like, he, he might not say that he understands some certain things, or he, he might think you guys know it, but you guys don't know it. Um, but, always things I'm surprised about. but yeah, like, he, he thinks you all should know not to play behind a shield when you, when the enemy team has shattered, even though he's not going to let you guys get shattered. Um, but y'all are going to do it anyways. <laughs> yeah, no, so actually, I, I, I spoke to him about that, like, just... I spoke to him about micromanaging, like mm -hmm. the team a little. And he more also not not only will will he have to manage your team, he also has to know what the fuck the enemy team is doing. So he's got a shit ton on his plate, and he might not always be um, able to call everything. But if he is, that's cool. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Probably blanking on a few things for Ryan, but he probably already knows most of them, honestly. Yeah, I would assume so. Um, is there? This is just goats comp, right? This is yeah. just goats. Is okay. it, we're, we're, we're hypothetically just looking at goats v goats at the moment, uh, talking about slight variations like May goats or uh, somber goats. Oh, somber, somber. Um, yeah. So play like a bitch. Um. Don't translocate too far back out, you know, like, keep it somewhat close to your team where you can get back into the fight fast, like, get get heals, get back. Um, EMP combos, hack the fuck out of divas, be a bitch to their, to their zens, um, get on high ground, hack from above, hack the Rhine, hack combo, hack, hack, hack. Hacking health packs might not be too important, actually, unless... 
you're running like a Zen goat and there's a mega like right next to point, then that will be cool. Mm-hmm. Max specific on that one. Yeah. Um, and the and the poke in the early in the early stages in the poke game when you're farming EMP. By the way, so generally, for the generally just honestly, like if you don't have EMP, just farm EMP off the tanks. That should just be your number one job. Mm-hmm. Once you have EMP, then you can start go for f- initiation flanks off the Zen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you're in the farming, when you're in the uh, farming process you could just you could just don't i wouldn't even necessarily use like translocate back to health packs and heal yourself up you can translocate back to, you can translocate closer to your team and just get healed up by your supports right that's pretty much all there is to it um and like when you're playing goats v goats, like you know, or when you're even playing goats v not goats, you can use all of this knowledge to to like figure out how to outplay the enemy team. Like sometimes it's literally just not doing anything and just making your way to point. Sometimes it's just like hiding behind your Rhine shield and just trying to hit something once in a while. Um, but like you can use this knowledge and like maybe they're running bunker or something, so you need to path your way to them. Um, and or you need to maybe touch point outside of their line of sight and just play goats like it goats and not get flustered all because they're not running goats. Um, you know, like you you know your role, and then you also know how to play against goats. Um, but yeah, that's, this is all I can pretty much do for right now. Um, we can go over um, quad. Like quad is basically surround and destroy, and then it's basically learning where to position first. Um, yeah, and I think what I think Hammond we'll... does talk about that at a different time yeah um there has i just want your opinions have you seen any of the new like um all in somber kind of stuff going on uh i've seen it a lot in contenders um some in korea where they're putting like the the rest of the goats teams plays really passively and keep speed for like disengages and stuff like that and they're um and they're just giving like health packs, like not health packs, uh, Brigitte like packs and uh, bubbles to the to the Sombra so she can build alt faster. Um, it's a little bit harder because like if you don't build up the EMP, you're fucked. You kind of just have to build EMP before before beat, and you're good. Right. So like that that was the whole point of the the team comp is just like that to is... build EMP super fast. Yeah. If you um, have a really good Sombra player, then maybe you can do that. Um, if not, don't bother. A... <laughs> There's, okay. a, there's a caveat when you when you're watching these high high level um, games like that, are, especially that are being broadcasted, or the ones that are just high up there with roots in the community. There's a caveat to a lot of these is that what they are playing can just be tailor made specifically for the team they're playing. Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, yeah, that's definitely true. I, at least I know for that composition, it's more than it's more, it's more than just like a one team kind of thing. But yeah, definitely, I understand that. All right, any last questions? <coughs> Nothing else. I'm fine. All right, I appreciate this. I'm gonna go off to bed. Um, send any questions you have to me. Also, awesome. check out my... Oh, fuck. I didn't get to what I wanted to do. Um, look at my document. You should have it pinned somewhere. Yeah, it's pinned on... Yeah, Overwatch, I updated I it the other day. Um, where is it? Here, I'll find it. It? Should just be under Overwatch. It's yeah, it's just under Overwatch. Yeah, it's take pinned. a look at the bottom of it. Um, like all the way at the bottom. I added. What did I add? No nah, page. I'm gonna head out though. All right, thanks for stopping to stop by. Uh, page 13 through 15, take a look at that, especially page 15, the pre-fight, post-fight, mid-fight. 
um, mm -hmm. that's super, super important. Um, if you figure that out and you figure out how to goats, y'all are on your way to 4K. No problem. Yeah, just take a read through um, 13 through 15 and like, bef at least before you do this thing uh, with the team. And then like you could you'll you'll see how to how you how this how this game plays out. Um Yeah. And then maybe uh, if I have time. Um are you are you Jewish, you keep Shabbos at all? No, I am. Um okay. If you're not He's then not. I can probably talk to you on Saturday about the other team comps too, and then you can give it to your team um some other time. Because I think this is a lot of information. Like this took over an hour and you're gonna be doing this with newbies who don't know what the fuck's going on. So um yeah it's gonna take a while um sounds like fun yeah like i i would honestly not recommend having everybody there the whole time like um give every, every give everybody their stuff um make sure they're paying attention when you do that like if everybody wants to pay attention that's cool but make sure at least the person who is Who's who will be playing that role? Like your three brig players, make sure they're all paying attention to every word. Um. Okay. I'll get that scheduled. I'll get that scheduled out for Sunday. What is that? Two hours. Six. Okay. Awesome. Well, good talk, everyone. Um, I always enjoy a meta dis discussion. Mm -hmm. If I'm ready. Um, I can stay up for a little, yeah. All right. Have a good night. Uh, good luck. Thanks, by the way. Mm -hmm. right, also, yeah, yeah just.